Yo, what's going on? It's the One More Thing Daily with myself, Dave Colombo Jenkins, telling you everything about what's going on with One More Thing. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about cock socks this time. I'm never going to mention that word again. I am going to say DIY though. I'm going to say DIY a lot and I want anybody who is kind of on a bit of a DIY flex, learning a new discipline, a new creative outlet um, or medium, um, I want you to get in touch. So yesterday we dropped this from Kavala. Everyone you love, everything you ever cared for, will get burned. In the fire. Fire. Sick right that's the first ever video that he's made he's been producing for a long time that's the first ever video that he's made and he just wants it as a free creative outlet not to put so much pressure on himself like he does as an artist like all producers do or all creative individuals do but to have it kind of almost as a hobby really and another way of expressing himself and a way of complimenting his own music as well like the more skills you have creatively the more languages that you speak as it were the better right so I'm interested in other people who are kind of doing that because there's already a bit of a trend of this already running through uh, one more thing in this type of way in fact a long long time ago one of the very first premieres that we actually ran um, was by NC17 um, and it was a video that he had created like his first ever kind of video and I didn't know if I was going to do premieres in that way or anything but I thought no that's really really cool um, so yeah we ran this a long long time ago check this there's a beautiful quote in Gus's Hall that reads, if you want the rainbow, you have to deal with the rain. That's wicked, right? And now, with all of the artists that we've had on our paid releases so far, they've all done their artwork. They've all requested that they do their own artwork, um, which, again, I really, really love. Like, you know, they, they're not known as artwork creators. They're known as amazing music creators, but they wanted to put their own artwork on their release. So we had Scorpion there, who I'm not too sure. I don't know where he generated that image. If it was made by AI, then it still creates. He put in the right prompt to create the right mood for that EP it's amazing um, then we moved on to Scar Tips EP um, that he created himself with a still from the film that he sampled on the EP title track What Have You Done um, and then we flipped it again then for the amorphous single release which came ahead of it which was really really cool too those bloodstains <laughs> were really too realistic like um, then Tia Kahoot as well loves photography um, and also the outdoors as well this was uh, an artwork that he really um, reflected him where he's at where the EP's at um, and then he went ahead as well with the single release I Made a Boo Boo he's already explained how he made it and I love it like this is DIY and creative as hell I love this check this sick right um, I'm really interested in these type of DIY endeavors and I want to create a kind of reputation as a playground um, a testing ground if you like for these new talents because um, I think they're really cool and it would be a shame to, for them to just kind of remain as like 30 second clips on your social media if you've made something if you want to make something if you're out there kind of experimenting with video at the moment and want to have a home for stuff or you want to make some videos for some of the tunes that we have or anything like that if you're kind of at that stage and you're really interested in your creative um adventures and journeys and you want to have a platform 
one more thing is the place get in touch with me yo at one dash more dash thing dot co dot uk um and we've got more diy flavors coming up very very soon in fact on friday we've got this amazing mix which was filmed completely on location um and uh, as he explains to me in the interview because i've written a little kind of piece to go with it the police were literally walking over the hill to come and stop him from filming it just as he was wrapping up he thought he was going to get into trouble Turns out the policeman was already following him on Instagram and was into what he did. DIY, and that's in another country as well. Um, DIY is hell. DIY till we die. Obviously, always trying to kind of raise the bar and always trying to be as professional uh, and have the best kind of output as possible. But also at the same time, this is the reality of the world that we work, especially in an underground culture. So if you're making things and you kind of feel like they need a home, but you're not too sure about them, send them to me. It's the same that I say to anybody who's sending me music as well. Send me the weird stuff. Send me the weird stuff. I'm not interested in the stuff that might have been declined by a big label. I'm not into sloppy seconds. I'm into cooking up a completely different feast. That's what One More Thing is all about. Uh, what else have we got going on? We've got the High Contrast podcast. Hey, that rhymes. I can't believe I've not said that on a video. We've got the High Contrast podcast. That's been out for a couple of days. That is absolutely flying out. Um, and there's also a written piece as well on the site. Um, we'll be doing more written editorial very, very soon um, on paper dragon as well so go and check that out on the website the links are all in the description if you're experimenting around with something and you just want to find a home for some of your output test it out on one more thing i'd be more than welcome to at least consider it obviously it does kind of need to fit in with what we do sonically and it can't just be novice crap there's got to be kind of you can sense passion i think though really um you definitely can on Kavala's video last night fire um, so yeah, hit me with fire, scorch me, singe me, burn me. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>